Hi, old folks, this is Max from NexusSHacks.com, and I've got a review of the quick update on the status of um, CM9. Cyanogen 9 is here, um, this time with Android 4.0.4. Um, this is actually the stable version, I believe, and they're both running uh, 4.04. I've got my Nexus, uh, regular Nexus on my right, and the Nexus has 4G on my left. Um, I've got it running with uh, Matrix kernel, the latest version 18.5, as you can see there. And uh, I got the CFS version over there, up there. It's working pretty flawless. Um, I've always loved uh, Sinogen Mod ROM. And uh, anyway, this is an update. Um, Sinogen mod is great because you can, you don't need set CPU. You can change um, the processor speeds right there. Um, without matrix kernel, you can also get all up to 1.4 gigahertz uh, maximum frequency. And uh, sometimes I don't know why it kind of it's changing my frequency on me. Um, but I've got it at 1.46 gigahertz there and I'm not going to run Quadrant since um, I've run it like 10 times already uh, you can expect speeds of about about 2000 for each of them uh, which isn't too bad which isn't the only thing you should really care about but um, how it performs in real life and uh, let's say it performs pretty well um, I mean it's CM9, you can't go wrong with it so just show you some browser rendering here and we've gotten a, a long ways here with the uh, Nexus S-ROMs just in general it's gotten pretty darn good I know when I first started reviewing ICS ROMs for Me Nexus S um, things would render really slow but as you can see it's rendering pretty darn fast and also I don't advise you to run it at performance that's probably uh, drain the battery. Um, what I would really suggest is um, if you want all, uh, if you want the maximum performance, use um, any any one of Wheatley, Lulz, Lulz Active, Interactive X, um, Intel Demand. I actually like Lulz Interactive and Wheatley the best. I think it gives you great performance, great battery life, um, kind of ramps up. For those of you who don't know, I know I get a ton of questions like this. Um, you, you don't actually lose a lot of battery life if you run the correct governor um, because it's going to ramp up and down. Why is that doing that? Sometimes you want you might want to sure it's, it's ramping up and down. See, so let's go back to Lulz Active. Yeah, it's just running. Up. Oops, I got cut off there. Um, anyway, it comes also with DSP Manager, all CM9 does, so you can mess with the equalizer bass boost. Um, this is great for listening to music, and uh, um, I guess that's pretty much it. But it looks pretty solid um, for the Nexus S4G. You do get the uh, quick 4G button, and um, this is pretty stable. And I've, I've been reviewing a lot of the Night Leaves before, and uh, it looks pretty darn awesome anyway go check it out uh, I'll have links below um, whoops version 4 for Nexus S4G and version 5.0 uh, for the regular Nexus S and uh, they're stable you should check them out they're running pretty good um, both on my Nexus S Nexus S4G definitely one of the best ROMs out there for Nexus S and uh, that was just a short update on it and let me know what you think of this ROM and if you have a Nexus S, don't forget to sign up for our email list at nexusshacks.com um, where we update you once or twice a week with ROMs of the week, tips and more. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button, sh um, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have, thanks a lot. And I'm going to get um, really high on Android uh, this week. Um, and uh, slowly we get this ball rolling. Alright, see y'all later.